It's taken seven years, but at least some of the old University Hospital campus here at 9th in Colorado may finally be redeveloped. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon is there now, and Lindsay, the city is hoping this is going to jumpstart what has been a very lengthy and very frustrating process. Mike, a lot of that delay has had to do with money. Not only have, do they have to construct buildings here, they also have to do things like build roads. For example, this is a south end, and you can see Bel Air here stops at the campus. Now the developer needs to continue this street, having it run completely through campus, and that's just part of the first phase that's expected to start any day. No trespassing signs and fences block the entire perimeter of the 28 and a half acres at 9th in Colorado. Aye. Last night, Denver City Council That's voted 10-0 in favor of TIF, which means effective immediately, the city will start collecting property taxes from the residential area highlighted by the red boundary. Instead of the property tax going into the general fund, for a certain period of time, it will go back into the project. Before approving the financing, Denver Urban Renewal Authority first had approved the area Area was blighted, pointing to rundown buildings and inadequate street layouts. Then it drew up the TIF, estimating it will generate $7.9 million over 25 years. In this case, um, it's going to be used with the purchase of the land. While nearly seven acres is purchased, there are still 22 acres for sale, and the roadblocks on this land have been never ending. Neighbors fought against a Walmart here last year. Then there were talks of a King Supers, which never happened. But CU and the city hope by creating homes, that will attract business. Was there a fear that maybe just that residential side grows and the retail never comes together? I think there's a fear, but I don't think it's a, it, it's likely that it'll happen that way because of the interest that's there. Now, a University Hospital spokesperson tells me they have had other developers show interest in the 22 acres to the northwest of this build of this area. However, she would not disclose what they've talked about. Meanwhile, I did reach out to the real estate group that is building the 325 apartments to see when construction starts, but have not heard back. Live in Denver, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.